What's up, YouTube? We back with another video. And today, today, man, man, we are back with the police brutality, man. That shot a, another black man, man. He was 18 years old. It just happened it's a couple days ago. And it's another. It's sad to make a video about this, but nowadays it's common. This, this like, is a common issue. It, it, Frequently, it could keep happening. It's like not the first one, the second one. It's been happening. Man, let's just watch the video, man. Let's see what let's see what they're talking about now. Cause they usually post, oh, he had a gun and he did it. Let's see what they talk about, man. The scene this from the police the officer's body-worn body camera, the moments camera. leading the up to when a DC police when officer, officer shot and killed 18-year-old Dion K. Dion K. Only seven. Uh, First, when he got out of the car, he ran towards him already. So he, it looked like he grabbed him for the gun already. So when he get out the car, you don't know what he got. Let's just let's keep watching. It's a lapse from when the officer exits his car until he fires the fatal shot. Mayor Muriel Bowser released the body worn video today as required by new police reform laws. I want to offer my condolences to the family of Dion K. Our community uh, is hurting uh, and we know uh, that they want answers. According to Chief Peter Newsham, police were looking for four men he says were known gang members who had been streaming live video of themselves with guns. When police arrived in the 200 block of Orange Street, the men ran. As one officer was in pursuit, he turned and saw Kay appearing to pull out a hit. Okay. So, this is what they said. This is the firearm. It looked like a firearm, but it don't. The gun like this long. Okay, let's keep watching it. It looked like a firearm, but you don't shoot. You see, he kind of throw the gun. You don't shoot him in the stump. I don't know, man. A handgun. Gun. In slow motion, in slow motion it appears K was, was trying to discard the, the weapon as the officer shot, shot him. Immediately, Immediately after, after firing, firing, firing that shot, the officer, officer can be heard frantically looking for K's gun, gun as other officers, as other officers first provide first aid. aid. I don't know. I'm looking for the gun. He's up there. But I, I got to find it. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Thank hey, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I got it. Newsham says the gun they believe K had was found. 98 says the gun they believe K had was found. The gun was this long when he threw it. Go back and watch the video. The gun was this long when he threw it. That gun is this small. Let's see. Let's keep watching it. 98 feet away. That does seem like a long way to throw 98 feet yeah. away. That does seem like a long way to throw up the gas. The shooting led to protests at the scene and outside the 7th District Police Station last night where officers with bicycles held the crowd back. And again this morning, protesters were outside of the mayor's house. Asked what she would say to protesters who want her to fire the chief. Uh, I don't say anything now, to them. The officer who shot and killed Dion K has been identified as... Now, the officer who shot and killed Dion K has been identified as a Hispanic male officer who has been on the force since 2018. His name is Alexander Alvarez. Chief Newsham did say that Alvarez and K had had interactions prior to yesterday's shooting. We also are waiting on fingerprint and other forensics tests from that handgun to conclusively determine whether it was actually the gun. K could have, he could have let him go to see he had nothing on K. He could have been anything. He could have, I don't know, man. That, that just messed up. That's sad to hear that. It's actually the gun that was in Dion K's hand at the time that he was shot. That's the very latest in the district. Back to you guys. That was in Dion K's hand at the time that he was shot. That's the very latest in the district. Back to you guys. All right, man. That's the video, man. That's, t tell me how y'all feel about that. I feel like it don't matter if he, I don't feel right. I feel like that's right at all. He shot him because he had a gun. He wasn't pointing the gun at him. He didn't. Nothing. Usually he have some like they shoot him if he had a gun tucked or anything. He had the gun actually out this time. But he wouldn't aim it, he didn't do anything, he tried to throw the gun. You don't fairly shoot somebody for doing that. You could shoot him in the leg, arm, anything. He went straight for his chest. I don't like that man. Tell me how y'all feel, man. I'm out, man. That's out.